Hi, thanks for joining us for Devotionables, Brief Devotions for Busy People. About to pick up a couple of uh, French curlers here at Plains Bakery. And uh, it's a little Friday activity I like to do is eat donuts. And very excited though as we head in further and deeper into Advent. And for this first week of Advent, been considering hope. I want us to consider a passage, a one verse from Hebrews 10, verse 23. It says, Let us hold fast. The confession of our hope without wavering. For he who promised is faithful. And when you consider hope, I mean, like many words, there's a semantic range to this word. A lot of times we just throw around hope like, man, I hope my team wins today. Or I hope we eat tacos for dinner. That's not really a hope that moves me to, to do anything personally, to, to make any investment to change my life. The hope that the author of Hebrews is talking about spurs us to change our lives and to live our lives differently because we have a hope that is greater than anything this world can offer because of the promise. So let's consider that for a moment. And we consider Hebrews 10. We all know Hebrews 11 is this famous, this powerful uh, witnesses of faith, the hall of fame of faith, all these people who live by faith and it says that they did so because they believed that there was something greater, that there was something better. So what was that? Who was that? It was Jesus, and it was his promises, right? And you think about the first advent. Was this, they were, there was this expectation, this hope that Jesus would provide and that there would be a Messiah to come from God. Well, indeed, he has come. And so you think about uh, he who promised is faithful, Think about the Old Testament, all these promises that were made. In the New Testament, all these promises that were kept. He is faithful. He has never been unfaithful. In fact, that's just part of his DNA. In fact, his faithfulness is the grounding for he who promised is faithful. His faithfulness is the grounding of my faithfulness. Is the grounding of my hope. So how can I not lose hope? The author says, let us hold fast the confession of our hope. One thing I want to point out is this is a, a community endeavor. The time is when I'm most prone to, to doubt, to lose hope, or is when I'm, I'm going Lone Ranger Christianity. This is a community endeavor. We need to be engaged with a local body of Christians. Active. Not just I'm on the membership roll. Not like that's a church I attend on Christmas and Easter. But no, the people uh, are in my life. They know my struggles. They know my strengths. They know how to pray for me. They are praying for me. They are encouraging me. I have people I can count on, I can talk to. So this is something that's community. It's also this confession. Notice I, it's a conf like this is a, a big word, right? Think about confession. Think, uh, it's, it's, think theology. Think the word of God. My hope is not based on just these crazy random ideas. My hope is based on the word of God. On the promises of God, these I confess, and I I believe, and I adhere to the Word of God. So I need to spend time in the Word to keep my hope kind of stirred and strong. And I, as you think about Advent, you think about Christmas. I know probably like your families, our family have all these things we like to do, these traditions. And maybe you'll just say, hey, this Advent, my tradition will be like, I, I will immerse myself in God's word even more to remind myself of these promises that we have. And I'll hold this. I will hold fast to these confessions. So the thing about hope today, I would just encourage you, read through uh, Hebrews 10, 23, and really you can go up a little before that. And then just it flows into that glorious chapter of Hebrews 11. And consider all the saints who said they all die without having received the promise. And yet they lived. They were willing to die. That's, that's not a hope that just says, I hope my team wins the big game. But that's a hope that says, God is faithful. He will never fail. And so I will live my life in it with obedient trust. Merry Christmas. Have a great Advent. And we'll get a French cruller.